Hi all. So today I am going to show you how to create appointment slots for your loop page and how to link them. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on this icon here for our Gmail account and make sure that we click on calendar. Once that's done, it will bring us to our calendar and this is where we actually create the calendar appointment blocks. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to other calendar and click on the plus icon in question. Once that's done, we click on create new calendar. And for this name, we're going to name it appointments. Once that's done, we click on calendar and we just wait for our calendar to be created. Once that's done, it says appointment successfully created. And now we're going to go back out of that. Now we want to choose our office hours. For this example, I have chosen Mondays from four to five and Wednesdays from 12 until one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the block that we want to create. So for this example, I'm gonna click on between four and five and you can see here that it's gonna create a block for us. Now we go to appointment slots and we just make sure that it's correct. So the the date is correct, the time is correct, and slots with duration. This is very important as what this will do is this will create multiple slots within the hour. So if you want to do if you want to do um slots with duration for 10 minutes, this will create as many slots within that hour for 10 minutes. So for example, this will create six slots um 10, 10 minutes long for an hour. For this example, I'm going to name it James the Sandbox and click save. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on the pencil here and click on edit event. And the reason for that is we want it to repeat. So if, the, if your office hours are going to be the same for the entire semester, it's important that we make sure that it's repeating consistently and we don't have to update it. To do this, what we do is we click on from we go from doesn't repeat to weekly on Monday. And what this will do is this will just create this block without question every single Monday from now until the end of the semester. Once that's done, we click on save. And the next thing we do is we actually click on the tile and we go to the appointment page for this calendar. Once that once that's done, you can see that we have our appointment blocks in question. And you can see here, for example, this one is between 4.20 to 4.30. If we actually click on this, we can actually book the appointment ourselves, and it'll say we're in a description. You can prompt your students to put a description in if you would like just about what their problem is, but it's not needed. So now that our appointments have been created, the next thing we want to do is we want to link it to our loop page. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the link from up top and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to move to our loop page. Just make sure to have your editing turned on for this because you need to be able to do so for your module contact details, which is where we're going to put the, the link. Now we're going to click on the cog on the module contact details and go into our settings. And as you can see here, I have my virtual office hours. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to say to book an appointment. Click here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach a link to this button or to this word. And to do that, what we do is we click on the chain that's just up above the module contact details and we click on link. The next thing we do is we then paste it in and we make sure that we tick open a new window so that it doesn't take students away from the loop page. Once that's done, we click on create link and we save our changes. And as you can see here, once we go down here, we have a button that says to book an appointment, click here. And once we do that, it will open up a brand new window to our appointment blocks. So that is how you create appointment blocks for your loop page. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.
Thanks, guys.